It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, uh, Tyler here. I hope everybody has a good Sunday. Because according to a new study that was done this year by Gallup, about 40% of Americans believe in creationism and that 30% of Americans believe that God had a helping hand in creating humanity. Now first and foremost, I'm not particularly concerned on people believing in God because ultimately I believe that a belief in God or a non-belief in God is a personal matter of philosophy. Like if a person believes in God, that's their own personal business. If a person does not believe in God like me, that's my personal business too. However, what is so concerning about me is the 40% of Americans that believe in creationism. And for those who have no idea what is creationism, essentially creationism is a literalist belief in the Bible and some sort of wacky kind of nonsense within the ideology. For example, many creationists believe that like the earth was created in like 7,000 years that humans and dinosaurs roam the earth together and also some other wacky stuff like Noah's Ark is real and also stuff like uh, Adam and Eve is real too. Essentially taking a literalist approach to the Bible. Now as anybody could possibly imagine like basically these stories they're not meant to be like literal interpretations of like events because ultimately like these stories are just that they're just stories they're not meant to be taken literally like even as like even if a person was a christian for example they can look at adam and eve they can look at noah's ark they can look at these stories as just that as allegories for how to guide your life and not something to be literal to actually happen now, there's also some sort of controversy with creationism from the longest time in America because basically a lot of people who are in power, at least some of them, are creationism. And basically what they would do in our um, school system is that they wanted to put like creationism into like their science classes, they want to influence our textbooks, they just want to make sure that people actually believe in the stuff that they do. I personally don't really care if people have different points of views to me. I don't really care if people think that there's a God to me. What I do care, however, is truth. Like, basically, I try to base my life based upon the empirical facts. If we can prove something using a scientific method, we should teach that in the science classes, we should teach that in school. However, I don't think that we should teach stuff like uh, creationism in our schools. Because ultimately, like basically, creationism has to do with theology, your personal belief, something that's not necessarily objective, whereas science deals with objectivity. And so by putting like creationism into science classes, that's not necessarily a good thing. And I'm kind of concerned about like the future of our country because 40% of people who believe in creationism, that's like a lot of people who believe that this stuff is actually literally true. So what's you guys thoughts about this whole entire news about like uh, creationism and you know, how 40% of Americans apparently believe in creationism? Please tell me in the comment section down below as the car is coming by near my neighborhood. And until next time guys, I will see you guys uh, next time, I guess. That's kind of redundant of me to say that twice in a row, but take care.